Hello everyone! Today we are going to paint acrylic abstraction using the gold leaf. These are the golden trees. Look, there are many options of how to create such a plot. You can choose any color shame or lay out the gold leaf in different ways. In this lesson, I will draw a picture like this. We need the following materials and tools White, Turkus, Dark Indigo and Blue Sky acrylic paints as well as glass of water, a napkin for blotting brushes, paper palettes, the gold leaf and sheets a pencil, large and small synthetic brushes for background and detail work. And finally, professional glue for the gold leaf. We start with a pencil sketch to mark three main parts of color transition. The darkest part is at the bottom. The next color is turquoise, then we apply the fair one to go back to the dark indigo again. You need not to draw anything else on the pencil sketch, because the acrylic background will overlap all the painting pencil constructions. So let's start painting the background moving from below up. If your acrylic is not too thick, simply apply the dark indigo to the canvas without thinning it with water. The acrylic dries quite quickly, so you also need to work quickly to make a smooth gradient from one color to another. Apply the turquoise over the dark indigo until the acrylic has hardened, gradually adding white paint. The higher you paint the canvas, the lighter the color will be. The brush strokes should be applied horizontally. You can paint over the ends of the canvas right away while applying the background colors. Wash the brush and squeeze it well on a napkin. Take a new sky blue color and mix it with the white to continue the light gradient line. The white can be applied right on the canvas if you want so, but don't forget to work quickly. We will sketch out the tree trunks after the background is completely dry.
go back to the dark indigo to complete the gradient using the turquoise again. Blend the colors with the brush on the borders. You can use fingers for your convenience if the brush doesn't handle this well. Our base is prepared. Now need to wait until the background is completely dry to apply the gold leaf and draw the tree trunks. Gently run your hand over the background to check how dry it is. If it's not sticky, you can proceed to the gliding stage. Take the gold leaf glue and the brush. Be sure to squeeze out excess glue. There should be not so much glue on the brushes. Apply the glue to the area where the tree canopy is. You can mark this area with a pencil. Gently paint small brush strokes with the glue that will indicate the gold leaf areas. Be careful working with glue. It's always better to add some more glue if you need so, than trying to remove it from the canvas later. You can immediately spread over the entire surface left for the gilding. Or do this in the small parts. The gold leaf glue dries too long, so there is no need to rush. Take your time and consider every move. If you see the glue is white, wait until it becomes sticky and more transparent. Next step, take the gold leaf and tear it into small pieces. Don't rush to glue the gold leaf immediately. Place the gold leaf on the glue and rub it over with the fingers. It's better to take large pieces in the center and smaller pieces closer to the edge. Try to make this section not the same. Then 
Take the glue and apply it to the area you left for the trick round. Then, apply the small pieces of the gold leaf in the same way. You can also use a dry brush to do this. Don't leave the glue areas without the gold leaf. If you can see the missing areas at the first glance, rotate the canvas. Check how well you glue the gold leaf. The appearance of your painting will depend on how you apply the glue. You can see the example in this sample. Next, take a dry brush, it's very important, and gently brush away any excess.
Next you need a thin brush and the dark indigo paint. This time you need water to make acrylic more plastic. It will be easier to paint the canvas this way. Let's start drawing thin elements. For your convenience, place your hand in such a position as I show and use your little finger for support. It's easier to draw a straight line this way. Don't make the trunks perfectly straight. Let them bend. Let them be at different distances from each other to make your painting varied. You can sketch with a pencil first and then use acrylic paints if in doubt. Control the number of lines, it's better to add some more than overdo it.
to make your painting look more picturesque, add some falling leaves after the stems are dry. That's all, our work is ready. Like and subscribe to our channel in order to miss new episodes. All creative successes!